Welcome, and thank you for attending the presentation on PeopleServe Connections, connecting people and processes in your organization. Companies are faced with decisions about how best to use technology to achieve their business strategies. For instance, do you license all of your software from the same vendor? If you do, you'll probably have to make compromises if some of their solutions don't fit your business needs. But if you don't, you are responsible for integrating each point solution. You can end up with the situation shown here. Every line on this chart is an interface that needs to be maintained and is a place where something can go wrong. PeopleServe Connections uses the hub and spoke model so there is only one integration point for each application. It's a cloud-based platform as a service that provides a central repository of information and relationships. It draws information from systems of record and disseminates the correct context or view of the organization to each application. PeopleServe Connections creates a functional integration between the people in an organization, as well as a technical integration between the processes. It depicts relationships the way they exist in the real world, within the context of each process. It supports multiple contexts and both hierarchical and peer-to-peer -peer relationships. And importantly, it's dynamically maintained by the system, so there's no administrative burden in keeping the in information in sync. Let's take a look at the actual system. I've opened a context called My Business Area that shows a person who has a peer relationship with another person and also manages a department called My Department. Let's see what defines it as My Department. Clicking on the Rules tab shows that this sphere has a business rule attached. If I look at the rule, it simply states that department equals stat de software development and status equal active. That means the sphere My Department will automatically represent every active employee who is in the software development department. Let's see how to make use of this information. PeopleServe uses a function called GetPerson to navigate within structures. If you remember the arrows pointing to the applications in the architecture diagram, each arrow is essentially the result of a GetPerson call. First, you must specify a starting point, a sphere within a context. So I'll choose my business area and a person. I can specify a direction, down, up, or all, in the case of peer-to-peer uh, -peer relationships. Depth is how many levels of the structure you want to traverse. I can choose all or other to specify a different uh, value. Pressing Enter will return all of the people in a person's reporting structure. A person also manages a project team of strategic importance to the company. Double clicking on the context will bring it up in another tab. Here we can see that Jay manages the project, which includes several team members. So if a workflow transaction is at the project level, such as requesting a day off, it should be within the context of my project team. But if the workflow transaction is for, say, compliance or governance, it should be at the business area level. Let's look at other areas where people serve connections can be helpful. For reporting, you can slice and dice the employee population for any reporting rollup. No more using Excel spreadsheets with pivot tables to get the right populations for reporting, or business rules stored only in spreadsheet macros. People serve connections is not only a repository for information and relationships, but also of business rules which can be used by any application in the organization. Security. Spheres can map to security roles, meaning that the moment a termination becomes effective, PeopleServe adjusts all spheres and relationships and pushes the security roles out to the applications that need them in real time. Social media. You can set up self-maintaining collaborative groups for uh, different communities, such as systems architecture or global HR. Heck, you could even represent the company softball team. And the company softball team is the ultimate position management application. I can change positions of people just by dragging them out of one position and dragging them into the other one. I hope you found this presentation interesting and informative. Let's play ball!